actually start, start to realize what they were doing is stand up and say something against it openly. Uh, that was kind of the very frustrating part because you thought these people who took the same oath of office that I did would would actually do that. And they, you also thought that they would value the principles uh, in the in the Constitution and what they stood for in terms of human rights and human freedom. Um, but they don't apparently uh, care for that. I mean, in terms of human... Uh, that was in the in the Constitution and what they stood for in terms of human rights and human freedom. Um, but they don't apparently uh, care for that. Um, but they don't apparently uh, care for that. I mean, it's more more it becomes an, is, uh, an issue of money, control, and power. Control and power. Control and power. Control and power. Control and power. And it's not a question of human rights anymore. Um, so, for the last <clears throat> 40 years, the government, the English government, has been lying to the people. And the American government, the Canadian, the Australian, they have been lying. Uh, they have been lying to protect industry, protect their profits, to protect themselves from lawsuits. I believe that this industry and the part of the government which is encouraging them will be responsible for more civilian deaths and suffering than all the terrorist groups in the world ever with the we protect their profits, deaths and suffering. And the part of the government which is encouraging them will be responsible for more civilian deaths and suffering than all the terrorist groups in the world ever. In the world ever. Civilian deaths and suffering than all the terrorist groups in the world ever. For more civilian deaths and suffering than all the terrorist groups in the world ever. With the growth of the industry over the last 15 years, I would say now that these people are probably going to cause more death and suffering than the entire Second World War. Okay.